Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I have a little bit of a super awesome sneak peek to share with you today. This is a new stamp set in our upcoming 2018-19 catalog and I will tell you right now, it is my absolute hands down favorite. It's so easy to use, which is probably what I love about it the most, but it's really versatile. There's so much fun stuff that you can do with it and I already have an online clan online class planned for this. I can't wait. It's going to be the first one and I will have details for you as soon as that catalog comes out June 1st. But I have a little sneak peek so I wanted to share with you actually a couple of cards using this stamp set and they're really easy to make and I think pack a lot of pow. Woohoo. So are you guys ready? Oh and by the way it totally coordinates with my nails. <laughs> so you gotta like that, right? All right. Now this uh, abstract impression set is one of my favorites. And I think the reason is because you can do anything with it and it really changes the look based on the colors that you use. So I've chose a very bright, happy color palette, which is kind of my signature. But I've also made really soft, subtle cards using the stamp set too. Additionally, there is some amazing printed paper that coordinates with this. So I'll just quick show you. It is so beautiful, this paper. The colors are amazing, but look at, I mean, they're so cool. Now, that's only one side. This is the other side. Look at this paper. It's like crazy cute. Oh my gosh. So anyway, that will uh, be featured prevalently in my online class. I love it. Okay. So let me show you how I made these cards. First of all, because I, I, I do have two. I only have one showing right now, but I do have two. So first of all, I'm going to start by taking and putting a scrap piece of paper down because I'm going to stamp some good, bright, happy color on here. I'm going to be using the new Mango Melody combined with the new Granny Apple Green as well as our existing Melon Mambo. And then just for a little touch of happy or subtle, I'm gonna put some powder pink in there. So let me show you how this all comes together. I'm gonna to start with my Mango Melody and I'm going to go ahead and take, now what I love about the stamp set is it's two step stamping. So there's a solid, a more solid image and then a less solid image. And then when you combine them together, you get beautiful, amazing things that happen. I'm also going to do a little stamping off. So because my work surface is textured, I'm going to put a few more sheets of cardstock under here just to make sure I don't get any of that texture picking up in my two steps. All right. So I'm going to start by stamping off my first layer of ink, and then I'm going to add just a few. Actually, that was too high. Well, I can turn it up here. That'll work. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna stamp this again a little lower this time. I had to leave room for my sentiment up here. So I've got one, two, and then we'll do a third right here. And then I'm gonna take the detail stamp and go right over the top of this full strength, like so, and then look at that. You don't even have to have it lined up perfectly and it looks fantastic. That's my favorite part of the stamp set, is like anybody can do it. Oh. Okay, so that looks great. Then what I'm going to do is take and do the smaller flower, this time in Melon Mambo. So I'll open my Melon Mambo ink pad, and likewise, I'm gonna stamp off that solid part first. So I'll stamp that off, and I'm kind of putting them in between, but not exactly lined up. I also wanna leave a little bit of room for some of the, um, some of the, oh my gosh, leaves. I like seriously just my brain stopped working <laughs> for a second there. That was scary. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the detail right over the top. And again, I don't even think this one really matters if you have it lined up. In fact, I'm not even 100% sure what the lined up way actually is, but all I know is it looks great. All right, then. Can you guys tell I like the set? It's just so easy to work with. I think that's what makes it so appealing to me is you don't hardly have to think at all. All right, and then I'm gonna take my third color and you guessed it, we're gonna stamp off the solid image first and then add some of the details in afterwards. Okay, so I purposefully tried to leave some places where I could add those leaves and then 
Let's see. We can put one up over here. And I think that's all right. Okay, that looks good. We'll do the detail right over the top. Again, so easy, which makes me so happy. You're welcome for me singing that. You should have heard me singing yesterday. It wasn't pretty, actually. <laughs> I'm not really a good singer. Okay, and then I'm going to take my powder pink and add some of these solid images. Now we're going to stamp these on our card as well, but I'll show you how that's going to go down. So I'm going to stamp off a, fur a big um, layer of ink first, and then I'm going to kind of just add these it's a real subtle look, but what it kind of does is it fills in that white space in the background of my card. Okay, that way it's not so white. And because it's a real light, soft color, and I'll bring this up close so you can see it better, um, you don't really see it much. Okay, so it's it fills in the background so it's not all white, but it's kind of subtle. Okay, now I got some schmutz on my card here. I'm not sure what that is. Let me see if I can get it off. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Weird. Well, maybe we'll cover it up with our twine. Okay, so that looks good. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment, which comes in the stamp set. And there's a whole bunch of stamps in here, um, sentiment stamps in here, which I also like. I love when there's a set that has sentiments for the card as well as kind of different sayings. So kindness changes everything. There's so much to love about you. So happy about your happy news. If flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand. Oh my gosh, that's like my favorite. And then of course, thank you. I always need thank you cards. And actually, I'm going to send this to my friend, Barb, because we just stayed at her house last week and she was a incredibly gracious host to my friends, Kelly and I. Well, we were visiting, and so doesn't this look kind of awesome? Now I'm going to add a couple little embellishments that I actually think are pretty awesome. Of course, I know I'm biased, but I do believe that they are. So first off, I've got some iridescent sequins, which were basically made for this particular card, I believe. I know that Stampin' Up! knew at some point I was going to need these cute little sequins, and they planned accordingly just for me. So to attach these, what I'm going to use is a little bit of liquid. This is my fine tip glue pen. And I'm going to attach this in several places on here just to kind of add a little sparkle. So I'll just add a little bit here and there and one up here and one down here. And... I don't know what this thing is so I'm gonna cover it up with a sequin <laughs> I'm not sure if that was like just kind of on my cardstock when I started or not okay so then I just put that lid back in all right then I'm gonna grab my little China marker so have you guys ever seen these this China marker is actually amazing at picking up sequins in my little pot here so you just, seriously, it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why am I having such trouble with this? Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to start with a sequin up here. And I got two there. So I'll put another one right here. And then I'm going to take and put down a green one over here. And maybe another, got a couple here. Oops, another green one right here. And do you see how it just helps me place the sequins wherever I want them? Now I want to make sure I get all of the spots I put adhesive down on. Oops. Oh my goodness. This one keeps sticking. For heaven's sakes. Put, oops. This one over here, and then I think I want my last one to be a pinky one. And I'll put that right there. Okay, so now I've got a little shimmer going on my card. Do you see that? That makes it fun. So we're going to let that set for a second. 
And then what I want to do is take and put together the rest of my card. So I've got a coordinating melon melody or mango melody. Oh my gosh, how am I ever going to remember these names? Mango melody card. And I'm going to ink that up with some mango ink and stamp just the corners with my little images here to kind of uh, add some fun interest to this card. So I'll just do it up here in the corners like so. I know I just turned it upside down and it went off screen, but there you go. You can see um, we're going to cover up most of this. So don't worry if it looks a little bit awkward or what have you. Okay, so there we go. We've got some in both corners. Now I want to adhere this to a layer of I'm going to close some of these up because I'm done stamping now. I'm going to adhere, adhere this to a layer of Melon Mambo. And then I'm going to show you another card that's super sweet and quick. But I also want to do one more thing, and that is tie a little baker's twine on here. So I've got some Whisper White baker's twine. This is like old school. It came comes on a roll instead of a card now, so you don't have to deal with the kinks. But it's kind of nice to have baker's twine on cards because it's just simple and because there's kind of a lot happening with the stamping on here I didn't want my ribbon to get in the way of that so I just took the simple baker's twine and I'll tie this on here I'm being kind of extra careful because I know my sequins haven't really it dried yet so hopefully we can get this on here without disturbing them too much in a perfect world I would have probably put the card together all the way before I adhered the sequins on so that was just kind of an afterthought but you always think of your best ideas after you do the wrong thing right <laughs> that's my experience anyway all right so I've got my little bow on there and then I'm going to adhere this to my cardstock so I'll put a little bit of adhesive down like so and then I'm going to pop this up onto my card itself with dimensionals because I think that's going to be fun and you know I like popping stuff up on my cards you kind of gotta so I'll just put a little corner I know these will be okay and then that will be my card so easy super duper easy so that's fun okay now my next card is even better I, well I shouldn't say better it's awesome but it's just super simple I really wanted to show off that coordinating DSP there's also a coordinating stamp or er, uh, framelit set and it's got three pieces in it it's got this beautiful corner image and you can cut apart these different flowers and use them individually there's also one individual flower and there's a butterfly so I took my butterfly and this is the card I'm making. I die cut it from some gold foil paper. And I'm actually going to take and roll this with my um, die brush just to get all of those little bits and pieces out. I ran it through once upside down on my big shot and it came out gloriously. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Next, I'm going to adhere this to a piece of... Uh, printed paper that I cut out. Look at this pattern. Isn't it amazing? This is the other side. Both are super cute. I wonder, should I do this side? Oh, no, I can't. I love the side. <laughs> I like the, um, I need this side because actually it brings in the mango and that's going to be my card base. So all I'm going to do is adhere these layers together and then I will add my butterfly on top and then pop my sentiment of course you can use a sentiment from this step stamp set or another stamp set it's up to you i've got another mango melody um card base and then i'll adhere this one as well now all of the direction or dimensions and supplies and things that i use to make this card are all featured on my blog so you can check all those details out remember that this is not orderable until June 1st, which is just a few short days away from when I shot this video after June 1st. Of course, it's available. So there we go. I kind of curled the edges of my butterfly. And I'm going to take just a scrap piece of paper. This is leftover from trimming cardstock. It's about a half of an inch wide. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which I think will fit on here. We'll see. 
maybe a little tight. I might need another piece, but I think this will work. This is definitely one of those get your butt out situations. So you can see where you're stamping and look at that. It worked. So I've got my thank you. And then I'm going to punch the ends with my triple banner punch. Oops. There we go. Oh, I need to go a little further in. Ha ha. And then this one, we'll pull that all the way through and kind of see where we're positioned. We'll do that and trim it up just a touch more. Sometimes it's tricky with those long ends. All right, now I can pop this up right over the top of my butterfly. I think this is probably a good candidate for an edge piece. So I'll just grab a little length like so and then adhere it. That's all there is to these two awesome cards. They're so fun and bright, happy cards if there ever were some. I hope you love this. And once my online class is released, I'll put the link in this description of this video so you can register for it. But until then, get ready, guys, because this new catalog is going to be awesome. Thanks so much for stamping with me today, guys. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.